Attitude Nation salute. This is John North. Uh, I'm going to do a series teaching the Superman pull, what I call the Superman pull, and the first session is going to be my hit and catch drill. I invented this drill, I love this drill, um, and this is the first step in a learning how to correctly Superman pull. Like I always, uh, like my crazy mind always talks about, some people are kind of like, what's he, what's he uh, blabbing on about? So now I'm going to do an instructional video. Um, making contact with the bar, in my opinion, is the most important part of the lift, is the finish portion, striking the bar with the hips. Um, I teach there is no arms in weightlifting. They are just cables, all they do is hang. There is no traps, nothing happens besides the hips coming through and that beautiful arched angel that happens when you finish, okay? So uh, here we go. All I'm gonna do right now is the hit portion. Once I get better at the hit portion and I get that rhythm and I feel the hit, then I'm gonna go under, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand up in the snatch position. I'm going to get into step one, okay? The pen lay step one, all right? Shoulders back. Bend the knees just a few inches. The bar is completely into my hips. It is not going to roll down my thigh, okay? Right in the power position, I'm actually pushing back against the bar. Now, I'm gonna put some space in between my hips and the bar, and then I'm going to push the bar back as hard as I can at the same exact time my hips come through. Once I make contact with the bar, you're going to hear it rattle. The reason why it's rattling is because my arms, my traps, and everything is completely relaxed. Here I go. Okay. You can exaggerate it. You can barely put space in it. No matter what, I can put an inch or I can go all the way out. I'm still putting the same amount of force in the bar. Now, that's the hit portion. Now I'm gonna catch it. When I hit this bar, I'm going straight under. I'm not, my arms are completely out of service. Under. Okay, one more time. Under. Hit and catch. I'm not even moving my feet. Under, now you can once you get better, you can catch it all the way down in the hole, or you can just go to the power. Usually I have people do the power in the beginning just to kind of learn the feel of how, how fast it is, how explosive it is. Learning how to use your hips and your legs, bringing the bar back into you, this is a great drill for that. This is a great drill to quit the habit of shrugging and pulling straight up in the air and floating as I call it. When you're in the air too long, that's slow. Your arms are very weak compared to your hips and legs. Uh, this is how I snatch 166. This is how I'm gonna snatch the American record at nationals in a month. Um, I truly love this drill. You could also do it from different steps of the Superman pull that I'm going to talk about. Uh, next time, next week, when I go from step two, then we're going to go step three, and then we're going to work on the actual Superman pull. But learn how to hit the bar, Tyson hips. That's what I mean when I say Tyson hips, and then when I move my feet, I mean Ollie feet. So try to break that bar so it just has enough float time for you to whip underneath it. I do want to say, people are going to respond by saying, well, what do you mean there's no pull in weightlifting? Yes, there's a pull in weightlifting. It's called pulling yourself underneath the bar after you make contact when you're going underneath the bar. It's like asking, well, coach, what, uh, what foot do I step with in the uh, jerk? Well, you shouldn't even think about it. I'll go behind you, I'll push you, and then you'll automatically just step. I don't like to tell people about the pulling under because then they think about it too much and there's a lot of floating going on at the top. So how fast can you move? I'll be back next week with more. Attitude Nation salute.